So, so a quick video on how to use Burnaby Maps GIS um, online. So use the link that I posted in your assignment. And what you can do is get to something that looks similar to Google Maps. But it's much more powerful because you have access to a variety of different Burnaby specific data, such as base maps. So you can pick an aerial image from 2014 zoom in and the quality is amazing. You can also pick aerial images from say 2002 in black and white and um, etc. So, so you pick the one that you prefer. There's also a terrain view which I think will be helpful for you in determining the extent of the wetland area. So think of this as a 3D image of a contour is showing elevation, so the lowest areas are in this area. There's a great tool as well. I'm going to go back to the, um, the image here. If you go under layers, somewhere in here, oh, I've already turned it on, I believe, or no, wait, contours. You can turn on contours, so you can also get the contour lines. So I'm going to close that, and if you zoom in, you'll actually see um, these fine one meter uh, contour intervals. So here, this is 21 meters elevation, um, 25, 22, so really high quality. Now, for the purposes of what you need to do um, in, in providing me with a map showing the total area of your wetland that you decide using these tools, either it be vegetation and imagery and contours to define what is the total area of the wetland and therefore what kind of riparian should we put on there. So what you're going to want to do is, oh, up here there's a tool, let me look for it for a second. Here we go, draw and measure. Great. So in draw and measure you can draw different um, polygons. So here I'm going to draw a polygon and select show measurements. And then you're going to want to put this in square, either in hectares perhaps, or you could also put it in meters or kilometers. Anyways, you pick the unit that you find is most appropriate. I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit. And now what you can start to do is click. Let's see. And you can start drawing out a polygon. So let's say you decide that this is the full extent of your wetland. And when you double click to end it, you're going to get the total area of that polygon and the perimeter of it as well. Now what you can do is do hit print screen on your keyboard or um, I believe if you right click save map uh, image as and you'll be able to save the map. There you go. There's lots more you can do in the software but I think this is all you're going to need for the purposes of your assignment. Please do not use the polygon that I made as your interpretation of the wetland area. Consider the whole catchment, that's a hint, of the um, wetland to define the total area that you're going to want to protect with a riparian buffer. Thank you. The last thing I wanted to add was that what you're going to find, I, I've tried to figure out how to get the coordinates because I want you to have the coordinates lat longs or UTMs of each site. So you're going to map each site that we go to in the field and sample. So I wasn't able to figure out how to do this in Burnaby Maps. It says the help menu says you can. I can't figure it out. Um, so another option is go to Google Maps and you can pick this show your location tool. Let's see. And once what happens now is every time you say you decide, oh, this is where our sample site was right here, it'll give you the lat and long of that sample site, which you can then convert into UTMs as well with an online converter or report the lat and longs.